Condoleezza Rice has been touring the Arab countries to speak about Syria. So I have come to Syria to speak about Condoleezza Rice. You know, it never uh, ceases to surprise me that Arab governments can allow a foreigner to come to their country and sit on their tables with their leaders to insult and attack another Arab country. This is the behavior of slave government and the Bahraini regime should have asked Condoleezza to leave when she insulted Syria in their presence, in their capital. In fact, maybe it's the rulers who should leave. When she visited Cairo a few months ago, the Egyptian masses who are still a part of the Arab world, by the way, raised the slogan about the Arab rulers, give them a visa, ya Condoleezza. And I believe that this is a slogan which has not lost its meaning. I want to be very clear. I was clear in July and what I said in July has followed me all over the world by the American and Israeli propaganda machine. So I want to be very clear again. All dignified people in the world, whether Arabs or Muslims or others with dignity, are very proud of the speech made by President Bashar al-Assad a few days ago here in Damascus. For me, he is the last Arab ruler, and Syria is the last Arab country. It is the fortress of the remaining dignity of the Arabs, and that's why I'm proud to be here and addressing you this evening. The reason that Syria is facing this crisis is not because of any bad thing which Syria has done or any weaknesses within its democracy or within its economy or within its human rights record. The reason why Syria is being threatened is not because of anything bad which she did, but because of the good which she is doing. That's the reason why Syria is being threatened. Because she will not betray the Palestinian resistance. Because she will not betray the Lebanese resistance, Hezbollah. Because she will not sign a shameful surrender peace with General Sharon and above all more than any of these others because Syria will not allow her country to be used as a military base for America to crush the resistance in Iraq these are the reasons why Syria is being targeted by these imperial powers Hundreds of thousands are ready to fight them in the Middle East. And in Latin America, there is revolution everywhere. And in Venezuela, the hero Hugo Chavez has stood against them over and over and over again. Chavez was twice overthrown on American orders. 
and twice the poor masses of the slums of Caracas poured onto the streets in their millions and reinstalled him in the president's house. Fair. America cannot dare to touch his head because if they harm Hugo Chavez, fire will erupt in Latin America which will engulf them. So I say to you, citizens of the last Arab country, this is a time for courage, for unity, for wisdom, for determination to face these enemies with the dignity your president has shown. And I believe, God willing, we will prevail and triumph. Wassalamu alaikum.